was living a nightmare. Edith's suffering had just ended, and mine was only beginning. Oh, we get some closure I here. I took to the streets, blinded by sorrow. Why couldn't I protect her? What if I hadn't taken the case? But Milena's sweet voice brought me back to reason. She suggested we hide somewhere since the police were sure to be looking for me. Vladana's place was the safest spot, but we couldn't stay for long. We all had our reasons for leaving Prague. As for me, I wanted to get back at the bastard. We got out of the city on a small boat, and a couple of Roman's friends set us up with a ride to another town. From there, we took a train to Le Havre, France. We bought four tickets for New York City. America wasn't the country I had left behind. Poverty was at an all-time high, and the economy at an all-time low. We managed to get in through some of my connections. <laughs> then I got this in the mail. One article was about a series of murders in Chicago that were the same as the ones in Prague. I contacted Chicago authorities, but they wanted more proof. Even so, it was enough for them to confront Herbert Ackerman. Herbert Ackerman. He countered with an offer they couldn't refuse. Money, lots of it. Ackerman's name was safe, but they forced him to commit Mark to an institution. Fearing blame for the murders, I crept into the offices and stole any documents that might protect me. Mm. I found a full confession signed by Ackerman telling the story of his son. That bastard is in the loony bin where he deserves to be. I heard that they moved out west. Some years after, a cop from L.A. contacted me about a case. Strange murders of prostitutes, badly mutilated. I sent him what I could, but I told him I wasn't going near it. I wasn't going to sacrifice the one I loved again. Milan and I got married oh, and just settled down in Chicago. To another I went guess. back to the ordinary missing persons and cheating husband cases. And gladly, too. How do you just move on like that? Okay. Uh... Oh my. Hmm. Yeah. Typo there, I think. A pupil. I remember he had that painting of his pupil, so what do we do with this? Oh, here we go, helpful cutscene. Hello? Hi, sweetie, it's me. Hey, what's up? I answered the phone at your desk because the damn thing kept ringing. Anyways, this guy named Vaclav something was a little hysterical. He said that he heard a scream oh, and some boy. noises coming from his neighbor's apartment. I figured it might be important or you might know what he was talking about. Yes, I do, thanks. Oh, did you find anything in the files? Yes, but not as breathtakingly revealing as I'd anticipated. But it's given me a new lead. I think I'm going to L.A. L.A.? Why L.A.? It'd be too long to explain, but I'll fill you in as soon as I get the chance. Before you leave, I hope. I'll try. Anyways, I gotta see what's wrong oh. over at the campus. Okay, sweetie. You be careful. I always am. Bye. Bye. Um, no, no, that's... I don't think that's right. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Mixed up my, uh, cities for a second. Seeing things that aren't there, pretty much. Reading too much into it. Alright, so she's not very much in a rush, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the next target was Mia, which is the weird lady. Who's that guy? He's probably the killer. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. I guess we'll find out in a second. Good, uh, rush there, detective. Mia? Why'd she get back to her apartment? Uh-oh. Why would you dip your hands in that? Oh, shit. Mia! What the heck? Oh, shoot! Always look behind the shower curtain. Anyone could have told you that. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, he definitely is going to slice through the door. This is intense. Oh, nice. Get his mask off. He's gotta be sweating bullets in the thing. Off with the mask, come on. Really? What are you reporting? Special Agent Victoria McPherson. I need assistance. Yes, ma'am. Please give me the address and location. I'm at the. You are a terrible, terrible I'm... cop. Where's your gun? You didn't turn in your gun. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? She's dead. Oh, it's Vaclav. Oh, it was Vaclav. This is all your fault. I hope you know that. I hope you know you have to live with this now, Victoria. Are you serious? Do you even know what just happened? He is not there, which means that she might still be alive. She's just like, eh, fuck. Polar didn't make it. She's so, she's so nonchalant about all this. Hey, that's Mia's purse. Now this might come in. Oh handy. my gosh. All right. Well. Don't know where to go next. Hmm, there's n no new places. Interesting. Richard's gone. And, oh, we should probably check to see if there's a list. Just in case he left it for us. I can use Richard's computer to help me find the possible location. Oh, I see we're looking. Okay. Uh... How do I do this. Oh, I remember. Okay, this one I remember. You have to look at the paintings. Or we can just, there we go. It's a, it's a certain combination. Only a few of them have the words, I think. There's like a hint in every painting. This one was already copied by the killer. It was the fourth victim. Okay, so it's the one that's the sewers. It's the one that he hasn't copied yet. This is the pupil. Grandad was probably right. Maybe Ackerman had someone on the outside. That's what I'm going to find out. When okay, I guess we don't use that one. Another one from the L.A. series. Nothing I can see in it that... Los Angeles, okay. Probably not helpful. Probably from the Mental Institute in L.A. Another one from L.A., okay. I don't think the doctor will help us. Another one from the Chicago series. Okay. That's probably in the harbor. Chicago. I think that one's... Because harbor. Chicago harbor. I think that one's the one of the relevant ones. He copied that one. Um, I'm not sure if this one's... That's Ackerman's masterpiece, as he once said to my granddad. 
I don't think our killer has gone as far in his sick, twisted. That one doesn't have a word, though. What about this one? I recognize the murdered Apollina. The killer hasn't used this portrait. This red, dra this red drape was. Okay. Well, there's no word with that one either. This is a murder portrait, and our killer hasn't used it yet. That must be the Charles Bridge. Oh, maybe I had to click on it. I think that's actually the only ones we need. Bri Charles Bridge and... Oh, wait. I think there's... I don't think our killer took a plane ride to Prague. Prague. Okay, we might have to use Prague, too, because he hasn't used that one. And I think he's used that one. Yeah, that was the one at the art studio, I think. So Charles Bridge, Prague, and Chicago. Bridge, Prague. Search it. Search it. So she comes and she goes to see. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. Vladana. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, guys, I think this is actually the last uh, scene. That might have been the last puzzle. We'll find out. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Here we go. How does the killer move that fast? There he is. Hurry, don't don't make it worse again. Shoot him. Take the shot. There we go. Actually, remember if she survives or not. That's right. That's how it ends. I'm gonna let you deal with that pain for a moment. But it's okay. Don't worry. Here's what's gonna happen. Uh, I think there's still a little like. Uh, cutscene after this but if you guys want to know who the killer was I do know because I've uh, I read the plot for the sequel because I was gonna play it and I probably will still play it but I will if you don't want to know who it is if you want to wait till we do the sequel that's fine I won't say it until the very end of the video so if you want to know who the killer is I'll say it at the end of the video I'll go ahead and do my talking now, since we are doing the credits. Thank you guys for uh, joining me for the series. I really hope you liked our first full-length walkthrough. Uh, please leave some feedback in the comments for me. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, give it a try yourself if you got 10 bucks to spare. It's a really fun game. Of course, if you watch this, it's not really got much replay value for you. And like I said, I'll probably do Still Life 2 eventually, but I do want to do the game Scratches next.
Alright, I'm wondering if we can fast forward this without having any consequences. Space bars are not working. Enter. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the cutscene, so maybe I'll cut out the rest of the credits for you guys, so you can just see the cutscene. Oh, the pictures are showing what's going on in the story too. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Maybe I won't cut it out then. Okay, they're to the Q&A user, so... Can't be that many more credits, right? Right? Oh, they gotta do all the different languages, so... They found the mask. German. What is that picture? I did like the music in this game. Alright, I think there's one more little cutscene at the end of this. If not, I'm gonna be really disappointed that I waited that long. There's the top hat. Really great artwork. Come on. You like how I kept the note there? She's just not bothered by anything. Yeah, two people are dead so because of me, but... Did they find the body? No, not yet. They're still dragging the riverbed and diving. Damn. I know how you feel. I want closure, too. I got my tickets for L.A. You still think you're gonna find answers over there? You got them, sweetie. It's over. Not for me. Claire, I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm gonna rest for a while. Okay, I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. Okay, bye. Slow-mo. No mojo cruises. Cool, cool. Alright guys, I am Phantom Darkness135. Thank you so much for joining me for the series, and I'm going to wait 10 seconds for your, anyone who doesn't want the spoiler to leave, and then I'm going to talk about who the killer was. Alright? Okay, so, here's the deal. I was reading the Still Life 2 Wikipedia page. Uh, did, I, all I wanted to find out was who the killer was from this game, and uh, I think it's unrelated to the main plot of the other game. It turns, it says that the Chicago killer was Richard Valdez, who I assume is Richard the boyfriend, who I suspected literally the entire time, and I didn't, I really didn't know. I found out today, this morning, I looked this up because I knew we were going to finish soon. Uh, he, Richard turned out to be the grandson of uh, Mark Ackerman. So, crazy, right? 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry the ending was a cliffhanger, but I hope that my uh, little succinct summary will uh, take care of it for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Phantom Darkness 135 and I am out of here.